so the concept behind Gorilla Forest is kind of gorillas in the round. So you're surrounded by the gorillas. They're on all sides of you as you're inside. And what it's trying to mimic is if you go into Africa and you look at a gorilla sanctuary in Africa, um, how we have the outside areas where you have the research station and we have the gorilla yards, which is kind of where researchers might be doing field observations on gorillas as they come to the edge of the forest. And as you come into the sanctuary, it's like as if you were doing an animal sanctuary that was trying to save animals that had been displaced or poached, that sort of thing. So you're surrounded by the gorillas in the sanctuary inside and you can see the research aspect of it outside. Uh, so one thing that we hope when people come and visit gorillas here is that they'll develop a, a real connection with the animals by observing them and seeing them and getting to know the way that we get to know them. Uh, and the reason that that's important is because people tend to be concerned about things that they know and hopefully will want to actually help these animals in the wild to conserve them and contribute to what's left of the remnant populations. So we lose about one gorilla a week from the wild populations, and they're expected to decline about 80% in the next 15 years. So they're critically endangered and um, struggling to survive in what's left of the wild. So the reduction in the western gorilla population is predicted to exceed 80% over three generations. And accredited zoos in Europe and North of <laughs> Sorry, accredited zoos in Europe and North America contribute about $10 million annually in gorilla conservation projects, about half of the global investment. So when people visit zoos and see the animals here, they know that some of what's going into them visiting the zoos is also helping the animals that are left in the remnant wild. One of the biggest threats to gorillas um, is mining for coltan, which is something that we use in our cell phones and in electronic devices. So if people make sure to recycle their cell phones, they can actually help to save gorillas in the wild. Another important conservation tool that people have is to be aware to only use sustainable palm oil, because although the use of palm oil in developed countries affects mostly orangutans, and Indonesian species right now, its use is coming back to Africa and more and more is affecting gorilla populations. For them, they live longer in captivity. If, they, if we booted them out, they'd be like, what the heck are we going to do? How are we going to live? They're, they're used to having their food delivered and good health care and we become the way, have you seen like the way it is, the keepers kind of exist with them in the back. So they're kind of surrounded, we're surrounding them, they're surrounding us, we kind of all are part of the same group. Um, they're pretty healthy, happy 